Welcome back to Backstage Pass Rock News. In the world of rock today, Journey keyboardist Jonathan Kane has fired back at his bandmate Neil Sean after the Journey guitarist called him a hypocrite for performing the band's 1981 hit song, Don't Stop Believin', at Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago property. Kane, whose wife, Paula White Kane, is the former president's self-styled spiritual advisor. Earlier today, Kane released the following statement. Neil Sean should look in the mirror when he accuses me of causing harm to the Journey brand. I have watched him damage our brand for years and am a victim of both his and his wife's bizarre behavior. Neil sued Live Nation twice, losing both times, and damaging our ability to ever work with them again. Neil outrageously tried to take away trademarks from Steve Perry. Neil and his wife continually insult the professionalism of numerous accountants, road managers, and management firms with endless legal threats and their bull toxic and incoherent emails. Neil argues online with fans who don't see eye to eye with him. And Neil and his wife recklessly spend Journey's money until there is none left for operating costs. If anyone is destroying the Journey brand, it is Neil and Neil alone. Kane's statement comes just a couple of days after an attorney for Sean sent a cease and desist order to John in a bid to prevent him from using Journey's music at political events. Variety obtained the letter served to Kane, which accuses him of politicizing the band. Part of it reads as follows. Although Mr. Kane is free to express his personal beliefs and association, when he does that on behalf of Journey or for the band, such conduct is extremely deleterious to the Journey brand as it polarizes the band's fans and outreach. Journey is not, and should not be, political. Mr. Kane has no right to use Journey for politics. His politics should be his own personal business. He should not be capitalizing on Journey's brand to promote his personal political or religious agenda to the detriment of the ban. Responding to the order, a representative for Kane said, Sean is just frustrated that he keeps losing in court, and is now falsely claiming that the song has been used at political rallies. Now he's claiming I keep losing in court. Sean tweeted later, in fucking saying, get off the Kool-Aid. Well, lies after lies, I've won one case in court with Kane, and the reciting one has not been heard yet. Judge did not feel it was an emergency. Zero ruling. Sean also shared a link to a 2017 interview with Kane, adding, Have a listen right around 9.25 minutes. Jonathan Kane himself talking about politics and religion. Not a good idea with our music. One word, hypocrite, just have a listen. Two years ago, former Journey singer Steve Perry also said that he was against having the band's music used in political campaigns. Perry took to his Twitter to write, As one of the songwriters of Don't Stop Believe, I have not given permission to any political candidate to use this song. Perry didn't indicate what prompted his tweet, but his objection came after Don't Stop Believin' was heard during the White House's Mount Rushmore event, celebrating Independence Day in 2020. The latest legal move comes a few weeks after Sean filed a lawsuit against Kane in a California state court, alleging that Kane had set up an American Express card without telling Sean, and that millions of Journey's funds had flowed through it. Kane, for his part, accused Sean of misusing the card, citing his excessive spending and extravagant lifestyle. 